G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here's my last update on my Aster radio restoration. So yeah, I've now put all the valves back in and put the cans around them and connected the uh, cap leads. So that's all done. I've uh, connected the plug up. Anyhow, I haven't had the valves tested yet, so I haven't gotten around to doing that, but I'm going to... Uh, slowly fire this radio up with the Variac just to see if it powers up and to see if um, just to just to see if it if it um, is somewhat functional. I've uh, yeah I've um, pretty much checked over as best as I could. Hopefully it should more or less work. So I'm gonna stick it to the side here. Um, right, so I mean there's a chance components will still blow, or, you know, you just don't know, um, but only one, one way to find out, so I'll just aim it in towards there in case something blows out, so I'm going to slowly fire it up. Okay, so the uh, one the uh, one light that's there is is uh, firing up. Let's continue going. Hundred twenty volts. Don't smell any smoke yet. Okay, let's gradually go up further. I'm very nervous about this. Um, okay, I'm hearing stuff and coming from the speaker. That's good news. All right, let's go up all the way. Alright, so the radio looks like it's somewhat operational. That's good news. Yeah, it's working. Well, there you go. The radio works. <laughs> Let it run for a bit. See if the volume control works. He's being remembered as a powerful voice of freedom and truth following his death at the age of 47. Mr. Navalny has died while serving a 19 year sentence in a high security Arctic prison. He was one of President Vladimir Putin's leading critics. Poland's foreign minister, Radoslav Sikowski, says it's a big loss for Russia and the world. My heart goes out to the Navalny family and to Switch. all those. Uh, bands so I can tune anything on that I can hear something okay switch back see how many stations we can actually get So that's one station there. Let's see what else we've got. Got a foreign station. 
όπου κατέρευσε και δεν κατέστη εφικτή ανάνυξη κατά τις Since Mr. Millay took power as the BBC's Leonardo Rocha reports, Mr. Millay, who describes himself as libertarian, clear as a bell, I hasn't even got an antenna connected by themselves. His comments. Station number four. Station number five. We have credible intelligence from a number of sources, including from. So we've got about roughly about five stations. Thinking over is nicely destroyed and Lindemann quickly on the scene. Going to second, just in front of Thinking over, he's got a fraction deep early. Then came the Rapaho and militarized between runners with Navajo Peak and deep. And just then the Buckaroo on the inside of the fight. That's about as loud as it gets, which is pretty bloody loud. Now the speaker needs to be restored um, because, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's copped a fair bit of damage. And um, yeah, when you turn it up, you know, it will distort. And yeah, there is a, there's, there is a certain means to be able to restore your speakers. It's like you, you're sort of putting some kind of like paper, over, sticking some kind of paper over the, over the damaged areas, which fills in, fills in the gaps so the, so the speaker um, functions properly. But anyway, um, yeah, the radio works. <laughs> it's like the valves aren't all that bad. Yeah, I want to. I can't remember what this switch does. Yeah, I've um, I don't fully know all what all the uh, switches do. Um, I know this one. I think it switches from AM to shortwave or something. That's my that's I'm guessing here. I haven't read the notes in quite a while, to be honest. But yeah, there's a like it's just there's a there's a switch at the that's other switch down below um, at the the left side. Um, if you're looking at front face, I'm not sure what that switch actually does. Um, yeah. But anyway, I have to do my research. I'm not going to bother trying to look trying to look through the notes right now. All I know is, um, I believe this switch is between shortwave and uh, AM, and uh, this is the volume control knob. That's just a dummy knob. It's got no function. There's nothing. It's not connected to nothing. When I, um, yeah, when when I when I pulled it out in the first place, so it's a dummy knob. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a working radio. <laughs> let's let's surf through the stations once again. Alrighty, well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for further updates when I've um, yeah, got the valves tested, um, put the whole radio back together. I need to, yes, yeah, so the rest restoration's not over yet, but it is uh, excellent news that the radio is very functional.
Alright, stay tuned for my next update. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.